I was looking for all of you. Dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClure, Sunday night. Nothing goes past me, remember? And a very, very warm welcome to show 113. 11, 3, 113 live shows. How amazing is that? So there you go. And a very warm welcome to you. I'll just turn the volume down to these things as they tend to go ting, ting, ting every time one of you joins me. So as you could probably guess, there's quite a lot of dinging going on. Welcome, 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 I say, to one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment by all of you. I'm Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, and I'm here with you. I'm also the first lord of the internet. Gary McKenzie. Whoa! Good evening, says Dee Gurley. Good evening, Dee. Lovely to have you with us. John Finn is there, Martin Rowe. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Excellent, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. Evening, Scotty. Good sir, says Tony Mack, a fellow broadcaster. A wonderful man. Good evening, pal. How was your day, says Thomas Hamilton. An excellent day today, Thomas. I don't know if you saw the broadcast pop up this morning, just to uh, remind you of the promo, as we call it. I uh, hope your timekeeper will be better next week. My timekeeping is excellent. Had a job finding my bonnet, of course, so there you are. But it was pretty well spot on uh, in the McClure house here. Always on time, John, you see. There you are, never ever late. Hello, Scotty, says Amanda J. Dinky do, Amanda. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, excellent stuff. Uh, Stephen McKenzie, welcome, 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 I say. Uh, yes, I did, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Good, good, pal. Excellent stuff. Bertha King Patterns watching Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. I hope all is well. Pass on my regards to all, I say, Bertha. There we are, William Birch. Dinky do, you're all watching Scotty McClure, and we're of course live on the big one, Facebook Live, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Now, no matter what's on the telly, you can record that or watch it later. Scotty McClure takes precedence over all other forms of media. There you are, excellent. What about that? Yes, tell ten to tell ten, everyone. Absolutely, tell ten to tell ten. Scotty McClure is here saying Dinky do to every single one of you. Shetri Anis is with us. Shetri, lovely to have you with us. What's for discussion tonight, says Tony Mack. What would you like to discuss, Tony Mack? So there you are. This is the People's Show. This is the People's Program. And we've had a fabulous week. Thank you so much for sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Tremendous stuff. Excellent. There we are. And we are now around the globe right now, nationally and internationally. Brian Kessick's watching. Come and join us, Brian. I say lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty, the McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Now, I would imagine you are abreast of the news, abreast of the news, dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. When do you get to the other side? Shut the door, says Kieran Fox. You'll be hearing that again. Can't wait until Friday and Saturday, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. So there we are. Now, what's happening Friday and Saturday this week? Who knows? McClure is returning to the radio airwaves. Excellent stuff. So uh, we'll have a fantastic time. 10 o'clock sharp, Friday night, 96.3 on the FM, Nation Radio Scotland, Scotland's newest radio station. And I'm doing the phone-in, Scotty McClure's Nightline. Six nights to your radio show, can't we? Yes, six sleeps. Or if you're an insomniac, one sleep. David Hammond, can't wait till the mighty mega phone in returns on Nation. Fantastic. Thank you, do, David Hammond. How lovely to hear from you. One of our great, talented broadcasters there. Excellent stuff. Hello, Scotty. How are you tonight? Says Brian Kissing. I am remarkable, Brian. I've had the most fantastic day. So there you are. And, of course, the weather. The weather has been outstanding. Absolutely incredible. Talking of outstanding, 96.3 FM is on live right now. And if you're in Glasgow, the west of Scotland, you'll be able to tune straight into that. Now, the music is outstanding, 
and you'll never, ever, ever want to change to another radio station again. I can promise you. So there you are. That's 40 years' experience of radio. Uh, glad luck for Friday and Saturday, Scotty, says Helen Torley. Thank you, Helen. Very, very much appreciated. Dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClue. If you've just joined us, welcome, 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 folks. Uh, Jen Perrette's watching. Hi, Scotty, says Scott Blything, lovely stuff. Paul Wilkinson, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us, guys. Pop up, come and join McClue. Tell 10 to tell 10. I've got my handy device for sharing tonight. So what I can do is I just need to just share. Never a problem. And off we jolly well go. And if you can all do the same, that would be tremendous. So there you are. Just share. As soon as you see anything, Scotty McClue on it, say, right, I'm going to share that regardless if it's got Scotty McClue on it and it's come from me. Share it. And uh, who will be the first caller on Friday, says Paul McCulley. Aha, that's up to you, Paul McCulley. Is it going to be you? So there you are. They say your name on 96.3 FM, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thanks, pal. I've been informed that they do, and it's very, very good of them. So there you are announcing the Scotty McClue uh, program is coming back to you. Scotty McClue's Nightline. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Sean McIntyre, dink you do. Evening, Scotty, you old codger. Says Alan McGee. Evening, Alan McGee, you old codger. Excellent stuff. Right back at you there, chum. Tremendous stuff. Right, there we go. Good luck on the nation's waves, says Paul Mudder. Come and join us, Paul. That's what it's all about. So there you are. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Scotty, does your second name have a tartan colour? I'm sure your ancestors were sheep rustlers. So there you are. Now, only if yours were horse thieves, we need to check and see what's what. Even Scotty, thank you for your encouraging words, says Margaret and Donald. Margaret, it is a privilege. It is an honour to be in touch with you. Go from strength to strength and keep your eye on the light at the end of the tunnel. You have done such a fantastic job with so many people. The universe is now going to give you back all that strength that you need. What have we got here, Mark Gippert? Um, how long will your new show be on for, Scotty? Uh, two hours, 10 o'clock until midnight. All right, Friday and Saturday. If you mean how long will it be on for in terms of months and years, then that depends if the bosses are listening. So there we go. Fantastic stuff. Tom Skeldick, excellent stuff. Uh, back on just in time for these long, cold winter nights. It'll be good to hear the madness again. Well, Paul McCulley, I hope you'll be seriously joining in. Can we have a share, guys? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, Scotty, do you think Theresa May is encouraging more people in Scotland to vote for independence? I would not say that Theresa May per se um, is a great um, advocate or encouragement for Scottish independence, but I think Scottish independence will probably become a reality as a byproduct of the shambles that Brexit is. Now, I'm not a political animal, but I would cancel Brexit tomorrow. I would phone Monsieur Barnier, Monsieur Macron, whoever, and just say to them, listen, guys, Sorry about mucking you about. It was just a wee bit of a test. And um, we really can't do anything until we're on more solid ground here, either of us. So let's not have a date for any leaving. In fact, we may well not leave if you wanted to sweeten the pill a wee bit and give us a slightly better deal. So that's what I would be doing. All right. But then I'm not a political animal. I'm not a political leader and all the rest, so we have to leave it up to our elders and betters, the people that know best. But that's what I'd be doing. Uh, so there you are. So, uh, no, I don't think she's encouraging the vote, but I think uh, she's facilitating it by default, if you see what I mean. The Scots are going to get a bit fed up, so there you go. And on they will go. Will the Prime Minister survive? Well, she survived up until now. As a human being, the lady has done awfully well. She's done a fabulous job of obfuscation over the last two years. Um, it's uh, well over two years since the vote, and only half the people, just over half, voted. Not all the people. So whenever you hear a news person go, the people voted, the people did not vote for that. 
just over half of them did. Same with Scotland when they say Scotland voted against independence. Scotland did not vote against independence. Just over half voted against independence. And remember, there's a lot of scaremongering, a lot of fear put out there. All right, again, I'm not a political animal. I am no uh, nationalist or anything like that. But I do think from an economic point of view, Scotland is owed some serious money back from the asset stripping that went on with Margaret Thatcher from 1979. So there you go. Uh, so that's all I'm saying about that. Are you an SNP man, Scotty? No, I'm not a political man at all. So there you are. Evening, Scotty. Hope you're good, says Gerald Mackay. Excellent, Gerald Mackay. Dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. I'm going to have to prove myself to you from Friday night onwards. So there we are. So it all starts again. Wonderful, wonderful. We're looking forward to it. Have you ever been to Lanark? I know Lanark extremely well. I've stayed uh, overnight in Lanark. Had a great night there. Fantastic stuff. One of the local hostelries. I uh, went through Lanark very recently going to a wedding in Peebles. So I thought that was, in my wisdom, a good route to take, but I wasn't so sure when we get held up. Hi, Scotty, from Tom and Vivian. Thomas Ford, lovely to hear from you. Thank you, do. Gordon Bennett, are you going to use the original Nightline music? I think we'll be using um, the one based on Lord Rockingham's 11. There's a moose about the who's dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny in McClue speak. Uh, good after evening and a dinky do, Scotty, says Robbie Crossan. Robbie, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Good man, I say. Alan, gee, is the show online, Scotty? Yes. If you can't get it live on 96.3 on the FM because you're not in central Scotland or you're not in Glasgow, then uh, you'll get it online. So there you are. So not a problem. You'll also get it on DAB. And uh, you'll get it on your smart speakers, get it on your phone and all that sort of stuff. Roberto White, Jennifer White, he's talking, he's having a conversation. Uh, done it, pal, says Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, this is sheer time, guys. Let's just see how we're doing. Yes, we're one minute. Do you like the accuracy? Superb accuracy. So don't listen to anybody complaining about McClure was the human time or all that nonsense. Superb accuracy. Right, let's get sharing. Big, big share coming on. Have you shared? I ask you. Excellent stuff. And I'll just do a bit of that there. And um, what have we got here? Wonderful stuff. Right, uh, Marie Seller, Dinky Do, come and join us. Who has popped up here? Thomas has popped up with a chat line. So there we are. Excellent stuff, right? I can't see my thing. Hey, you're looking very smart, the right big man, says Rab Hill. Rab, you've got to make an effort. The, the way you turn yourself out is as a mark of respect for who you're going to see. And I'm coming to see all of you. So there you are. Hey, I'll be in America. Don't worry, you'll get it online in America. Nothing gets past McClure. Um, Telcams need them. Uh, all the best, Roberto. I can't do that. I'll have to take that comment out. So comment deleted. And there we are. Excellent stuff. Very nearly a red card. There we are. We can't say that about our friends and colleagues. Can't wait until next Friday. It can't come quick enough. Gordon Elric, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Here we are live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Excellent stuff. And of course, 96.3 on the FM. It's on now. The music is absolutely outstanding. Get yourselves on to Nation Radio Scotland. Other radio stations will what? Wait till I see what this is. Do you think there should be a second referendum in Brexit? Most definitely, Kieran. But this time with proper information and without any of the big politicians doing any campaigning. Say, you can't campaign. We can only have the facts presented by XYZ civil servants or uh, just the facts from our political leaders like our first minister, etc., etc. Oh, Scotty, I do hope so. But hey, says Christine Garvin, I know, but they need to dump this Brexit. 
Uh, Tom Skelding, are you an SNP man, Scotty? No, Tom. I am absolutely apolitical, as befits the world's top broadcaster. But I do feel that Scotland would be very, very good running its own affairs, because I think it's seriously misunderstood. And, of course, I know rather a lot about the Act of Union. And at the moment, I personally do not believe that the government are um, showing the Act of Union as it should be shown. So there you are. It should actually be 50-50 between Scotland and England. There shouldn't be any superiority or any now is not the time or any of that nonsense. This is not a time for grandstanding. This is a time for curating the future for the people who come after us, right? It's not about always making a quick buck. And we need to remember that. You can see people who have made a quick buck and they are none the wiser, they are none the smarter, they are unhelpful very often. So that's what we've got to look out for, okay? We are curators, very important. So no, I am no nationalist or anything like that, but I do think economically, Scotland would do an excellent job independently, running its own affairs entirely. So there you are, Ronnie Stevenson, Dinky Do. Uh, oh, we're getting everything here. Oh my goodness me, where did that come from? We've actually discussed that before, haven't we? So there we are, excellent. Should be an American Friday. How fabulous, you're on here again and on computer. A stunning accomplishment. Kieran Fox, thank you. And Dinky Do, I see. All these devices are going off at one time here. So, wonderful. Other radio stations will be shaking in their boots when McClure hit the airwaves again on Friday. I think so, Tony Mac. We had them quaking in their boots before. So there you are. So nothing's changed. So there we go. But we'll be doing the best to provide the best service, the best radio service. In my humble opinion, radio's been asleep for the last 15 years. It's, had, it's been slumbering, right? And we've just had gentle, mellow music diddling away in the background, but nothing exciting, nothing terribly interesting. All right, so there you are. That's where my job comes in. Scotty, can you say happy birthday to Vivian? She's 48 years old, says Thomas Ford. Excellent. I wish I was 48 years old, I could say. Uh, Killy, uh, Dab, my old tranny can he get it? I can only get it online. Now, I'm pretty sure you should be able to hear that radio station. So there you go. So a bit more planning, a bit more thought. Remember, nobody plans to fail. They just fail to plan. Okay. Uh, did you ever get your bracket, pal? Thomas Hamilton. Do you know I did? And I've ordered a packet of them today. Right, so there you are. I've ordered a packet. Is that not wonderful? It was the old Solo Glide brackets. So does that tip you the wink there? Fantastic. So it's wonderful. I'm quite chuffed. Very, very chuffed. How long have you been away from the radio, Scotty? Well, Bobby, I've actually only been away from the radio for a few months because when people thought I disappeared, I was away working on other radio stations. Like when I left Scott FM, I left on, I think, the Tuesday or something. And I think I started, no, I think the boss said, I can't start you on the Thursday. I started somewhere else on the Monday. So everybody thought, oh, that's the last of my clue. But I was busy operating down south on other radio stations. So I've really only been away. I've never, ever, ever been away from the media. We had the internet radio running at one point. So I've really been only away from the radio, I suppose, for a few weeks. Um, excellent stuff from that point of view. Uh, so it'll be really good to be back. Tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten. Says Thomas Pedden, I could not agree more. And uh, Alan McGee. So there we are. I don't know what he's talking about there. I don't know what you're talking about there, Alan. Doesn't make any sense. Are you real? Says Marcus Caseman. I am Marcus. Are you real? Look. Solid muscle. There we are. Excellent stuff. Um, who have we got? Is this live or not? Marcus Kasman. Of course it's live. Why did you wonder if it was live or not? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. You're beginning to fantasize now. Is this live? Now, maybe it's me that's fantasizing. Hold on a minute. Guys, is this live? 
Ask me, come on, come on, come on, tell me, is this live? There we are. We want to know. And uh, what else have we got? Gordon Sterling, can we have a taxi exclusion zone within a 120 mile radius of Hart Hill? No, no. We want the taxis on because we have to give them a talking to. Make sure they keep their service up. Remember when Scotty McClue goes on the radio, life improves for everybody that can hear him. All right? And that's me at my most humble. Okay? River City, my favorite Robbie. Excellent stuff. Wonderful. So what else have we got here? Um, should it not be tell 25 to 25 to 25? Yes, tell as many as you like. Tell the whole world, I say. How's the foxes, says Kieran Fox? Great stuff. You're a great ambassador for Scotland, says Sammy. Shammy. Thank you very much, Samantha. That is very kind of you. I would like to consider myself a creative and cultural ambassador for Scotland. So, wonderful stuff. Uh, Derek's wants to be Alex, says Wendy. Was Scotland sold to England in the Union of the Crowns. No, quite the reverse. England was sold to Scotland in the Union of the Crowns, Tony Mac. So there are, if you're talking about 1603, this is why I'm so strong on keeping the monarchy and keeping it up to scratch. The monarchy uh, represent the curators and custodians of the crown. Now, that includes the Scottish crown. I had a lady on the other day trying to be a smarty pants. And she said, I bow to no queen. And I said, I bow to everybody out of respect. So that's rule number one. All right. Then the other thing she said, OK, tell me, when did we have Queen Elizabeth I of Scotland? And I said, you have her now. You got her in June 1953. If you're looking at the actual when she was coronated, right, when she was crowned, or you got her in February 1952 when King George VI sadly passed away at a relatively young age. So there we are. So we've had Queen Elizabeth I of Scotland now for many, many, many years, 65 years, all right, or 66 if you go with the other calculation. So not a problem at all. And what happened is the monarchy is a Scottish thing, all right? So James the Sixth of Scotland became James the First of England. And Sir, um, Sir Sunday or other, I can't remember the knight's name, but he rode for nights and days all the way through, nights and days of your pardon, but did uh, different spelling, all the way through until he got to Holyrood House, covered in mud and blood, fell off his horse and kissed the hands of King James the Sixth of Scotland, Jamie Stuart, who was Mary, Queen of Scots' son. All right? He then became the king of England and Scotland. So the monarchy again, a Scottish institution. All right, so don't listen to the xenophobes that are going about, is it German, and all that sort of stuff. Sophia, the electors of Hanover, right, was involved. And then King William came over from Holland. William of Orange came over from Holland. And that's when the crown gave up the, um, that was the end of absolute monarchy when the, the monarch held all the power and decided what was happening in Parliament. The monarch was the head of Parliament. And that changed, and we then had constitutional monarchy with the Bill of Rights, known as the Glorious Revolution. So there you are. Uh, so no, 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 Scotland was never sold out to England. When Scotland was sold down the river, the aristocrats had been fighting each other, and that was 1707, the Union of the Parliaments, and the aristocrats sold out for Siller, Silver, money, all that sort of stuff. But in the Union was a far deeper agreement than we're seeing acknowledged now. So we need to be looking into that. There you go. Excellent. Right. Uh, are you filming this on a go-go or a wide-angled lens? It makes your nose look big. Just saying. I don't mind. You can say anything you like. If my nose looks big then that's what my nose looks like. It looks big 
I'm not going to take offence. You can never give offence. You can only take it. Do you see what I mean? So if you're saying I've got a big conk, then uh, there you are. I have got quite a big conk. Nice to have you back, Scotty, says Amanda J. Dinky do, Amanda J. Lovely to be with you. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you who've just joined me are watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. We're live on Facebook Live, 9 o'clock sharp. Nothing gets past me every Sunday night for two hours. So my schedule, do you like that? Schedule, not schedule. Schedule will be Friday night, 10 o'clock till midnight, 96.3 FM Nation Radio Scotland. Saturday night, 10 o'clock till midnight, 96.3 FM Nation Radio Scotland. Sunday night, 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock, Facebook Live, Scotty McClure's show. All right, so there you are. Language, please. What language are we getting here? Uh, evening, Derek Mack. Nice to meet a fellow Mack. Well done, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. I agree with you, Scotty. The radio has been in hibernation for the last 10 years or so. It has, Bobby McLaughlin. And I've had nothing back from people, but can we not get you back, Scotty? Because that was a wonderful, wonderful show. And all you get now is this. Here's another tune. We played you an hour ago. Here it's black. All that sort of stuff. And that's what I get when I bump into people. I say, no, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm, do you agree with you? Yes, yes, yes. All that stuff. Killer Fox, when I left radio in 2015. Yes, I agree with you. I left for commercial reasons. But I agree. Radio has become an awful listen. It's just a wee bit on the team side. Lynn Donnelly, Dinky Doo, one of the finest hairdressers in Scotland. Fantastic. Out there in the Orchard Park. Tremendous stuff. And uh, and she also will groom, as well as grooming you, she'll groom your dog. How amazing is that? And I go along. I had a wee trim the other day. If you want to see her finest work, there you go. There you go. See? Excellent stuff. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, uh, what have we got? Bonjour from Bonnie Montrose. Oui, bonjour, Monsieur Robert McCardy. Welcome, welcome, I say. See, si, Fauci, Fauci. Good to have you with us. You're a good monsieur de Ben Pafrosi. Très vite, si tu parles longtemps. Peut-être je comprends, oui. Uh, bonjour from Barry Matrose, East Coast Angus, Eden of Scotland, says the wonderful Robert Hardy. The return of McLeod, the legend returns. Scotty, Mayor of Scotland. Turn again, McLeod, I say. Uh, do you know Catherine Christie? Um, I would have to have a think. Julianne Scott, yay! Uh, so there we are, Thomas Peden, uh, Ben Vasakhali. Lovely to have you with us. How are you? I know you're not actually from Vasakhali, but it's lovely to have you with us, Ben. You know what I'm saying? There we are. I know it's, it's a bit like when my friend Sefton comes on. I think of Sefton Pach, all that sort of stuff. Wendy says, I'm taking Derek shopping and the gym he loves. Good. Excellent, Wendy. You get him down there and get the beef off him. People think I've got a bit of beef on me, but it's solid. Solid muscle, you see. It doesn't shake, Luke. No jowly shakes or anything like that. Solid muscle between the most of it, between the ears. Yes, absolutely. Uh, wonderful. Dinky do, Scotty. Good luck for Friday, says Stephen Nunnally. I thank you, Stephen. Now, guys, share time. What are we playing at? Everybody share. Everybody share. Everybody share, 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 share. Hello, Scotty. Can't wait to hear you on the radio, says the lovely Lynn Donnelly. Fantastic. Hairdresser par excellence and dog groomer par excellence. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Uh, Stephen Mooney. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. What have we got? Big muscles, Scotty. And big muscles. And I retain water, of course, all that sort of stuff. Uh, some people say that the body is at 70% water, but I think I'm sort of like maybe 70% water and 25% wind and 5% genius. Oh, that's what I've been told. Uh, Scotty, 
But I might be a bit more genius. I retain genius. Scotty, Friday night, 96.3 FM, Nation Radio Scotland, the studio number 01418110475, 10 p.m. Robbie Crossan, I thank you, sir. I could not have put that better myself. So, yeah, for those of you who are a little bit um, head in the clouds, Scotty McClue is going back on the radio this week. 96.3 FM, never a dull moment. Clued up, McClue, I love your knowledge, says Sammy Stewart. Sammy, you've got to know your stuff. There's no point in going on and going, oh, well, maybe you look that up in my search engine, you know. This is the stuff. If you want to be informed, you watch Scotty McClue. Or you listen. You listen to Scotty McClue. And I will tell you. Wonderful. Robbie, you should be his agent, they're saying. A history lesson tonight, says Wendy Walker. Yes, a wee bit of snippet, Wendy. There's a lot more where that came. It's a very, very colourful time. And, of course, old Queen Anne, you see, we had a very interesting setup. I'm not going to um, take up all your time with this, but we had a very interesting setup. You had Mary, Queen of Scots' son, as James the Sixth of Scotland, right? And there have been battles, right, on James the Third was killed at the Battle of Sochiburn in 1497. And his son, James IV, felt very, very guilty because he'd kind of been, he took part in his father's downfall. So he wore a big heavy belt. But James IV advanced Scotland. He was the one that built the Scottish Navy, the great Michael, the great big oak ship that said he, he took down the old forests of Caledonia to build shipping for Scotland. And uh, that was James IV, and then was he he was killed at, uh, at Flodden in 1513 down in the borders there. So that was the end of him. Then you're James VI, you know. <clears throat> and then after that, a very, very interesting setup. Then we had your, your um, King William, and then we went back to the Stuarts uh, again because uh, what happened is William's wife, was the sister, you see, of the king. So that's what was going on. That was the connection there. And then uh, we went back to uh, Queen Anne. She was the last of the Stuarts. Now, poor old Queen Anne, she had lots and lots and lots of babies, but none of them survived. A lot of them were still born. She had problems with the pregnancy. The ones that were born died quite young, so she didn't have an heir. And that's when the Hanoverians came in. That's when you had your George the First and your George the Second and your George the Third. And George the Third was Queen Victoria's grandfather. But of course he went mad and George the Fourth took over as Prince Regent. That's why you've got Regent Street in London, round the corner from the BBC. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, Scotty, what do you most like about being on the radio? Well, you can sit in your old sloppy Joe jumper and your slippers and the dog kind of asleep below the desk and you can chat to the people and you can write stuff down and, and, and what have you and sup your tea. But that's all kind of fallen away with you and I doing Facebook. So you've already seen behind the scenes. You know how I carry on. I want a wee sip of water. I have it, you know. Mm. So I think Facebook Live has been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful prep for going back on the radio as well. And it will enhance the whole experience. It's quite fantastic. And of course, I've now got international experience. People are watching in Canada and America and Tasmania. We had a lady on the other night from Tasmania. All that sort of stuff. Fantastic thing. Uh, Scotty, you're great on the education. Thank you. Not at all, Tony Mac. I love our Queen Elizabeth Scotty, says Catherine Harper. She is a fabulous lady, and she has proved the most incredible custodian of the crown. And that's the only thing I would say to any independence seekers in Scotland, make sure you don't uh, get involved in the sideshow about what's happening with the monarchy, right? Drop the Republic thing and you'll be in a much stronger position, all right? Always keep the crown because the crown is our symbol of authority. That's how we work as a society. In America, it's a flag. In this country, it's a crown. 
That's the symbol of authority. Fantastic stuff. That's what we do. And um, language, please, says Sharice. Sharice, scintillating, scintillating. Scotty, my son's just passed all his tests at college. He graduates in October. Prove the teacher's wrong. Dinky-doo. Well, Frank Crombie, the people that will be most delighted about your son graduating will be the teachers. Trust me. Because that's what the teachers want to do. They want to teach the young people. Okay, so there you are. So, you know, of course it's great to say they proved the teachers wrong, but the teachers will be delighted that one of their former pupils has actually the pennies dropped and he's passing all his exams. Excellent stuff, Frank. So there you go. So I'm on your side, but I'm also on the teacher's side big time because I can see where they're coming from. Uh, Sharice, your beauty, Sir David Rendell. We're in late tonight, Scotty. Looking forward to having you back in the airwaves. The Wayne's with me too, says Natasha Jane. Dinky do. Say hi to Olivia. Olivia, dinky do from Scotty. Excellent stuff. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Wendy. Says Sharice. Hi, Sharice. Scotty, uh, I need MSG written down with this info. MSG. No MSG for me, please. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Should Scotland and Ireland separate from England? Ah, Kieran Fox. Now, you're asking some very interesting questions. Every time disrespect is shown to any of the other nations, like I was listening to the Prime Minister's speech the other night, and as she was actually speaking, then there was huge chasms appearing in my mind, she said, I don't want to see my country broken up. Now, her country is England, right? There isn't a country called Britain. There is the United Kingdom in the same way there is the EU, all right? And the United Kingdom is an amalgam of four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. All right. So there you are. They've kind of given up their claim on Ireland. Britain's given up its claim on Ireland. And uh, that's quite a good thing as well. Because as you know, there was a plantation uh, to try and bring about Protestantism in Ireland. Now that kind of all backfired as we know. Ulster is not six counties. The six counties that were annexed, Ulster is eight counties. So there you are. So part of Ulster is part of Ireland. The whole lot could be construed as part of Ireland, right? Now, with all this border stuff, the six counties could de-annex, right? Because they're all, they're Irish counties. And then they're not any longer part of the United Kingdom. Scotland could, this is all theoretical, but Scotland could go independent. It would not be part of the United Kingdom. Or it could go independent, but within a concept of a United Kingdom. So certain things could be asked, like we do with the EU Parliament, say to Westminster, could you agree that then, uh, you know, because that kind of covers us all. So again, if Scotland's leaving, you know, out means out, all that stuff. Not necessarily because you've got 300 years, 311 years of history to deal with, all right? So there's all that to be looked at as well. But yes, it could all break up. But it was very strange, even the concept, I don't want to see my country program. Her country is England, you know? So there we are. That's that. She's an English lady. Scotty, will I be able to listen to your show in Knitting by the Bing? Of course you will, Sandy. But you'll need to get it online, China, I think, to be quite honest with you. Telly is terrible too, says Sharice. Absolutely. That's why shows like the Scotty McClue Show and Scotty McClue's Nightline will do so well. Yeah? Because all of us want something that suits us. We don't want it chucked at us by an arrogance of television companies going, that'll do them, just stick that out. You think, no, 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 no
Give the people respect. Give the people what they want in their broadcasting. Extra stuff. Keep the pound. It's ours. Yes, or you could have the pound, Scots. I can remember when I was over in Ireland, and it was the punt, right? The Irish punt. And uh, I remember saying to the girl at the hotel, I said, I need some some um, sterling. I said, would you mind uh, changing that for me? She said, I could give you one for one. I thought, well, you're doing very well out of that, but if that's my choice, no problem. So we did, we had a, we, you know, we, we gave her one for one, and she would do very well out of that, but it suited me to have the sterling in my hand. So there we go. So that was that. Uh, taking Derek shopping in the gym, he hates going out all day. He doesn't have any heat, Wendy Walker. And I would urge every single one of you watching this broadcast, either right now live or in replay, to drop heat from your makeup and your vocabulary. Don't ever have heat, because if you have heat, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. So there you are. I don't have any heat. I've only once met a really bad man and he took money from me ostensibly through a business. And, um, you know, that's the only bad person I've ever met. And I don't hate because that comes back on you. That spoils you. So don't hate. Don't shut off avenues of learning. Say what is involved in this and what's it all about. Yeah, very, very important. And that's our journey, guys. Like this or like that, light on, light off. Sharice, yes. Sharice is remembering I used to go out with an optician. She used to say, is it better like this or is it better like that? And I would say, again. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Um, hate's a harsh word. Of course it is. Drop the word hate. Scotty, can't get this sorted. I can't share to your page, says Sharice. You need to get sorted, Sharice. What's the time, guys? We need to share. Quick, share, share, share. It's coming up again. Excellent stuff. Big muscled Scotty. Me too, says Sharice. Sharice, are you, have you got your pecs? Have you got your six pack? <laughs> your six pack. <laughs> Under your two pack. <laughs> now, solid muscle from the chin up. Absolutely, John Adams. There we go. What did we have there? Nation Radio number for next Friday. Studio 0141 811 0475. Get that down, guys, with a stub of a hard black pencil and a throttling jotter with no batter beside your telephone because it's fast becoming the best-known telephone number in Scotland and you need to have that with you. Guys, this is a very, very, very big radio station, right? There's no reason this radio station can't just wipe the floor with everything else. Uh, Scotty, do your best young team impression hat at an angle and all that. Young team hat at an angle. <laughs> hat at an angle. I don't know. Gary Anderson just won the darts, says Team Burrows. Congratulations, I say. Robbie, I'll be listening, Scotty. Here's says Tracy Campbell. Agents take too much. Mine must be a millionaire. Uh, so there we are. Derek did, says Wendy. Good morning, Scotty. Wish you all the best. Very smart person. I shared and I told all my friends. Erica Meyer. Excellent stuff. Out in, have I got it right, Tasmania? Have I got that right, Erica? So there you go. Fantastic. Um, I'm Sharice the first, says, oh, you are the first. The first. Absolutely. They broke the mold, Sharice, darling. Uh, too much trend and double. Uh, Scotty, so there we are. Uh, excellent, Paul McCurry. I don't know what you're talking about there, Paul. You've lost me. Um, Derek's tight with the money. He's had the same wallet for three years. Absolutely, yes. He's keeping an eye on that. He's got the lock on it. Have you got a key to it as well? Um, did he did he go in there and out comes some George George the Fifth pound notes, all that sort of stuff. Uh, there ain't no other Charisse, no. Legend, number one legend. Joe Riley, Dinky Do, Gillian Scotts, some council pop. Is that your drinking, Julie and Scott? This is Adam's Ale, I'd say to you, down in Wales. 
I can mind some of my mates who'd come to my house and we'd all listen to the night's debate. Great days, says Bobby McLaughlin. Well, they're back, Bobby. I can tell you that. It was only a matter of time before you went on the radio. I always learned something. Do you know the Doug? Debbie, you got to love Scotty, honey. He's funny, says Sharice. Thank you, Sharice. Is that funny, ha-ha, or funny, peculiar? Anderson wins the darts, a muscle bra man. Your show must have been the most listened to in Scottish radio history, says Bob McLaughlin. It was, Bobby, yes. I mean, we were up to about a quarter of a million people, and that was only central Scotland every half hour. And I used to come off, and I used to check the figures for the big London stations. There weren't anyone near what we were getting. I also checked the figures for a national radio station, and they had got less than Scotty McClure's show had in central Scotland. Isn't that amazing? Fantastic stuff. And the reason I went, we need to find out. We'll get to the bottom of it someday, because it was nothing I said, and it was nothing I did. So there we are. So work that one out. Excellent stuff. It was giving the competition a hard time. Share, 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 share. Let me do a bit of sharing here as well. I haven't done any sharing. You guys are doing all the sharing and you're talking to me there and I, I'm not able to see what you're saying. It looks fantastic. Wonderful stuff. I'll get a look at that later. Uh, so there we go. Wonderful stuff. Derek got arrested for breaking out a five pound note. <laughs> Shalice says, John, I'm in remand, I can't share. You get your tag on. <coughs> 10 o'clock sharp on Friday, Scotty. Don't be late. You know the dog. When have I ever been late? Oh, lovely. Thomas Hamilton says, 9.40. Excellent. So we'll be getting another wee share. What's going on here? Where, where, where am I? Where am I? Well, there I am there. I can see myself having a wee drink of water because the computer's running a wee bit behind. Wonderful. Right, I've just shared in public. Excellent stuff. Sharice, watch the say? Scotty, say hi to my friend Debbie White, please. I will, Sharice. Kiss, kiss to you. Um, I like my women from Fife, says Derek Rendell. Well, they say when you're supping with the Fifers, you have to use a lang spoon. There we are. Thank you, Scotty, says Kieran. You're a top man, Kieran. Excellent broadcaster. Uh, I think she's getting a wee bit like Maggie, says Frank. Um, hi, mate. It's John from Springburn. John with the guide dog. Hope you're well, my good friend. Now, John Garvey, I remember meeting you. How wonderful. Lovely, lovely to hear from you again. Are you doing okay? Uh, top man. Now, John, um, several a wee argument going on in the uh, recesses of my head, right? Was it yourself that rang one night and asked if I had a dog in the studio? I always remember somebody rang and said, you got a dog in the studio? And I said, now, why do you ask? And he said, I hear him every night. I'm blind and I hear his collar medal. Because obviously you're hearing, um, you know, steps up a wee bit and uh, that sort of thing. And nobody had ever commented to you, but old Lord Reith, the Labrador, he used to jump up when the news jingle fired at one o'clock and shake his collar, ready to go. He thought, we're going out for a walk. There's the news jingle. That's how clever these dogs are. Absolutely. So there you are. But John, yes, absolutely. I remember you and your lovely dog. How fantastic. Now, who else have we got? Thanks for that. She's delighted starting out early. I used to listen to you back in the days on Red Rose Radio. Been following you ever since. Natasha Jane, how amazing are you? King McClure, where's your crown, big man? I don't need a crown. I have the bonnet. So there you go. The bonnet. This is the symbol of authority on the radio. The bonnet. Excellent stuff. So there we go. The symbol of authority in the country, the crown. The symbol of authority on the radio, the bonnet. So there we are. Excellent. Sofian, dinky do. Hi. Lovely to have you with us, Sofian. Wonderful stuff. Sofian guess. And uh, who have we got there? They're frisky in Fife. Well, they have to be, you see, because Fife actually was the capital of Scotland at one point, the kingdom of Fife, Dunfermline was the capital, Dunfermline Abbey. The king sits in Dunfermline Toon. And what does he do? 
in Dunfermline tune. Who can tell me? You wish. Uh, keep it clean, please. Keep the pound. It's ours, says Frank Crombie. They are Derek Jimmy Walker. She says she's frisky. Derek Jimmy Walker got a round of applause in the pub. He bought a round of drinks. <laughs> You're so naughty, you guys. You really, really are. Talking about Ulster, I hope Irish Tina will come back to the show. I always love the Ulster fry up. That's right, Tina. Tina used to come on, Scotty. How are you? And she did an Ulster fray. That's it. Fantastic. You can hear Tina on YouTube. The Ulster fray. England could break up. The North and Middles are sick of London rule. Most people in Cornwall regard themselves as Cornish rather than English. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Yes, these old and ancient counties. So the whole lot's gone through history. I mean, knights that fought with William the Conqueror. He gave them land. So you had the Norman conquest. But then the Romans had been here anyway. So everybody's always trying to eat your lunch. Do you know what I mean? It's the same in life. Think about it. You've got a few quid. The shopkeeper's going, mm, a few quid there. Maybe get that off them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, good morning, Scotty from Tasmania. Erica Mayer is in Tasmania. I thought that. How wonderful they are. And has seen a Tasmanian devil. Uh, replying to John Adams, hey, I'm from Fife, says Debbie White. So there you are. Nothing wrong with that, Debbie. So there we go. Um, haters are motivators. So, <laughs> haters are dafties. Uh, would you do a second referendum on Brexit, Kieran Fox? I would. But I would inform everybody properly and say, look, I have nothing to gain here and everything to lose. All right? I have nothing to gain and everything to lose. And when people go, ha, 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 you lost, you say, no, 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 ha, ha, everybody lost. All right? When Scotland didn't get the um, result for independence the first time, everybody lost. All right. Good evening. Sorry, I'm late. So there we are. Thomas Hamilton, 943, pal. Thank you, Thomas. Excellent stuff. You are a very, very good timekeeper. I've got it, 952 here. So that must have been a while back. Am I running behind with my massages? There we are. Yes, I am. I do apologize. So there we are. Good luck with the show, Scotty. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Who have we got here? Steady with a half pint of vodka. <laughs> Still regarding Brexit. No one really knew what they were getting into. Knowledge is power. Vote again, says Paul Murdoch. Yes, yes. Belt her if it would. Ah, there we are. People are having shit. This is terrible for having conversations with other people. Richie McCusker, dinky do. All right, Scotty pal. Bed early Friday for my wife and me, Scotty, dinky do. Do you listen to Scotty McClure in Bobos? Excellent stuff. That's what we like. Uh, aye, pop under your shell. What are we? Looking forward to listening to your Nation Radio Scotland on Friday night, my 40th birthday. You're a young man, Tony Mac. You've got your whole radio career ahead of you. So there you are. Excellent. I did my first broadcast when I was nine. <laughs> what about that? There you go. Great entertainment, says Sammy Stewart. And you, my darling, thank you very much. It's all you guys. Scotty, what will Friday night's topic be? Women drivers, says Paul McCulley. No, I think we'll talk about uh, other things, you know. I think we'll see what we can get talking about. Sorry there. I'm just looking at a wee tiny crumb that I saw there at the side. You should have told me that was there. Scott, you've got a wee crumb there. Uh, Gordon Roddick's watching, one of our finest broadcasters. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. And Dinky Do. So there you are. Um, I will be honouring your gifts on Friday night and those of all the other wonderful broadcasters as we make our way back onto the airwaves. Tremendous stuff. All I can say to Gordon Roddick is thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, John Adams, off the way. Whiskey makes you frisky. Whiskey makes me cry. The price, you know, your price. 
Uh, so there we go. What else have we got here? Everybody's sending me messages. Oh, we're getting blocked up here. Scotty, get back on the telly, pal, says Richie McCusker. Well, who knows? You've all had a swatch at my coupon now, so it might be an idea to get back on the telly. Wonderful stuff. Well, I was talking to somebody from telly recently, and they just... They don't get it. They used to formulaic stuff coming over their desk. I said, what about this? And they went, yes, um, we, don't, we don't normally do anything as different as that, Scotty. I thought, well, would you not maybe try? Because look at the track record. Everybody listens. Everybody watches. Be honest with me. Would you watch the Scotty McClue show on something like commercial television for half an hour on a Friday night between, say, 11 and 11.30. Would you watch that? If I had guests on and the big orchestra for da -da 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 -dee -dee, all that stuff and Scotty McClure, ladies and gentlemen, right? Would you watch that show? Ask yourself the question. Give me an answer. Take your time. Don't rush it. So there you go. Hey, Scotty. Locked in on Facebook says, watch, dinky do, watch. Dinky do to you. Can you see my picture with the Queen? Says Wadge. Yes, I can, Wadge. Very, very nice. You look very smart. Uh, Robbie, how do I do that? Says Sharice. Andy Hood's watching. That's Welsh, Scotty. No, Welsh would be like Yakida and Nosta. Yes, wouldn't that be right? There we are. Tina from Dingley Dell. Absolutely, Dino the Dog. Hello, Scotty from Jason and his girlfriend, Rebecca, Jason Crombie, Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue, and the rest of the universe. Tremendous stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. How's your weekend, Means as Wedge? Outstanding Wedge. And, of course, that's the last weekend um, that uh, I'll be able to go out at night now because Friday night, Saturday night, we're on the wireless with all of you on 96.3 on the FM, Nation Radio Scotland. It's very, very exciting. Tune in to 96.3, guys. Uh, you'll get it right now. Uh, Debbie, do you know mine, Scotty, three years ago? Of course she does. Do you remember the man on the radio from Law Village? Do you know, I was listening to that this morning. I think you'll see it on Facebook. Guys, I don't quite know how certain aspects of Facebook work, though. Maybe we all don't, but I don't know if I put something out, if you all see it. Do you all get a fair bit of stuff from Scotty McClure, or do you not? That's what I need to know. So there we go. Uh, Paul McCulley, let's make you the boss king. McClure for the win. <laughs> now miss your pop-ups. I'll catch your nation radio. Well, we'll still do a pop-up and see how it goes. I don't want to stop doing the pop-ups because it's lovely to be with you guys. And we're kind of like a separate thing. What I might do is um, go live on Facebook Live a bit during the broadcast, like you see what goes on behind the scenes. Wouldn't be any different, really. Love the bonnet, Scotty. So Jason Crombie, symbol of authority in the media. Uh, Scotty, what's the radio station again? I forgot. John Adams, how could you possibly ever forget? Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3 FM. 10 o'clock sharp, Friday night, Saturday night. Listen to the radio station 24-7. The music is outstanding. 96.3. Three. Look it up, Nation Radio Scotland. In fact, every single one of you go on and like the uh, Facebook page for Nation Radio Scotland. Go and like it. Uh, wonderful. There's Robbie Crossing giving John Adams all the stuff. Are you reading the old messages, says Wadge? I don't know where we are, Wadge. The stacks were miles behind. Can you sing, Scott, on Facebook, says Sharice? Well, no. I can't really, because you could have a copyright problem if you sang a whole song. I see your post, but sometimes not till a couple of days later. Aha, Amanda G. I've often wondered about that. And I've wondered how some broadcasts are pop up and 10 or 20,000 people join me. And another time, just a few hundred. My wife Liz is asking you, Scotty, she's a very sore head, but I think she'll feel a bit better hearing you. Thank you do, Frank, what a lovely thing to say. Guys, we must be out of time. 96.3. I can't wait, Bingham, says Nick Baldy. Right, it's time Scotty McClure wasn't he here. 
Been lovely, lovely being with you all tonight. What a fabulous program, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your joy and your laughter and your fun. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do, says John Hanlon. And uh, join me, uh, I'll try and do a, a pop-up during the week, but join me next Sunday night. Join me on 96.3 FM on the radio, Friday night and Saturday night. We'll get the chit-chat going. Good night, says Wadge. Good night, sweet prince. And uh, Nick, when are you giving me a ride on your new bike, says Sharice, when he gets his stabilizers off, Sharice. Okay, so there you go. All the best. Be safe and be good, says Sammy. Bye-bye, Scotty. Have a good week for myself. And Rebecca, think you do, Jason Crumby. I'm going to sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheery. Oh, have a lovely, lovely week. Night out, Tony Mac. Night, John Hamlin. Have a lovely week, guys. Take great care of yourselves. This is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, Dinky-doo.